Hello everybody, welcome back to UNM Esports. Today we've got Rainbow Six Siege on the docket. Uh, my name is Oscar and this is my co-host Casey. Hello. Today we've got a really interesting game. It's UNM Cherry versus Wisconsin uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison. That's right. I'm excited to see what we're going on here. They should have their map bands in place any moment. We'll be heading in in any second. All right, today we've got the lineup being Cafe to Night Haven to Border as our overtime tiebreaker. That's right. I'm interested to see the Night Haven Labs. I haven't seen it come up yet, and I know it's a lot more of a comp it's a lot more complex of a map than either of these two on their own. Yeah, still being a newer map, it'll be interesting to see what the strategies are that we get today. That's right. I'm especially excited to see what we do with Cafe. I know UNM has always been having a bit of a up and down relationship with that. It's quite the interesting map, mm -hmm. especially with the three floors and the huge amount of hatches that have to be covered up by defenders. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be an interesting time to see, definitely with the up and down, but with new the new players we have this, this year, it's going to be really interesting to see what strategies they can bring to the table. I'm very excited to see this. Yeah, I wonder which team is going to Amaru rush first. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be, yeah, that'll be the thing that we got to look at the most. Yeah, we've got a few different strategies that we might be seeing. Uh, aside from that rush, that's probably only going to work like once, maybe <laughs> twice at the most. That is true. But one thing I want to see is UNM dealing, having a stronger roam clearing ability. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to see much of UNM's game so far? I've been able to see, see some of it, but remembering how things were with uh, teams prior, it's going to be really interesting to see what things have might have changed, things that could have been updated, especially with all the new patches that are going through lately. That's true, especially now that this is, I believe, our third time on CAFE so far. Mm -hmm. And so I want to see how we're adjusting to this map especially now that it's coming up as our first map, and so UNM is going to be fresh on this one, and so is Wisconsin by that metric. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> It'll be interesting to see, especially with seeing if any new operators, especially like Ram and Fenrir, if anybody gets played through there. That's going to be the thing that's going to be a game changer. That's right. They've really changed how the game is played. Fenrir makes it so hard just to deal with <laughs> any gunfight at all. Mm -hmm. He's so frustrating to deal <laughs> with. Heck, he's usually banned, actually, mm. now that I think about it. <clears throat> yeah, with the ram as well, especially with being able to clear as many much of the floor as you can, especially like ups in places like the upstairs, so yes. getting to be able to see into like the downstairs sites just from above, having more access to that, that's going to make definitely make or break some games. Yeah, especially on cafe, since so much of it is got it has soft floors and ceilings. Mm-hmm. So RAM is going to be vital in any soft breach at all, like Buck. You've got your Ashes, Sledges. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that'll be fun to see. Yeah, it is definitely it is definitely going to be an interesting time. Espe with all the game changes that come with it, it's going to just, you have to kind of adapt how it is. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a maze, too. I know people love to roam here, and so UNM is going to have a good time, I'm sure, mm -hmm. with their roam-heavy team. I want to see if we'll be getting Amira. She's pretty powerful on this map. Oh, absolutely. Exactly. She's got a lot of presence, both fir third floor, first floor. <clears throat> so I'll have to see if she gets banned or not. All right, we're heading back into the map now. Game is started. Let's see who they come up with the bans. Mm -hmm. I think we're probably going to see... Doka B, or maybe someone with frags being banned here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they went for a classic jackal ban as well. That's always a pretty good start. But again, with everybody else that's been added in changing, who knows what it's going to look yeah, like. Yeah, he is a pretty safe ban. Mm -hmm. Lion. Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting that. So they're going to be missing his EMPs and his anti-roam abilities. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. All right, UNM Cherry, who might they be going for? I would, yeah, I would totally agree with the Doka be for them. I know that's been a common ban. Yeah, just to make sure that dead defenders can't calm to their teammates. She's so powerful just for that. All right, the Thatcher. Thatcher. Classic, of course. 
Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> See, with the, but with everybody eventually getting the EMPs, it's like, at that point. <laughs> True. He's not quite as strong of a ban as he used to be, but he's also very good for disabling a ton of gadgets at once. Ooh, and the Mira. Oh, so sad. We were really hoping for that one. Yeah, but it makes sense. I know using her to set up bathroom wall and get the cocktail wall is pretty strong against people pushing in from, say, New Balak and Christmas. Mm -hmm. All right, final bans coming up. Solus. Ooh, okay. I think that makes sense. Yeah. There's really only two staircases for drones to be going up and down. Mm -hmm. So Solus would have a lot of an easier time just denying them any time. Uh, defenders are on second or third floors, really. Yeah, that's g definitely with us, like with how much droning we're probably going to see in this. Definitely having her out of there to keep from just being like spotted from anywhere. Curious Always. how many people are going to be falling for the fake alibis. That will be an interesting one to see. All right, UNM's coming up. Doka B, Finca, Buck, and I believe an Ash. And defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. All right. And an Ace. And defenders have their Cade, Mazi, Alibi, Wamai, and Jaeger. Let's see how they set this up. Looks like a pretty classic setup for top floor. Setting up, making sure that they that freezer wall is kept locked in and tight, getting into the but also having access to the bathroom. Just having as much of, of the site as you can, really. Yeah, I do like that they're getting ticket wall. I wish there was a safer spot to be Kading there. Maybe if he could get remaining. under the floor, because mm -hmm. it is a bit vulnerable to the ticket window there. Yeah. But yeah. One if you e could prevent people from peeking it, True. it's good. Yeah. One e one EMP can just take that out immediately. And with True. And with our Dokubi, who does have EMPs, that is a totally like totally available to her now. I'm surprised we're seeing Finca. I haven't seen her very often here. But she does have her nades back, so mm -hmm. people are really hoping that <laughs> she can come back in all her glory. Mm -hmm. All right, heading up to the rooftop. Let's see if let's see if anybody might be getting any picks from above. Yeah, it looks like we've only got Jaeger on the roam right now. Everyone else is third floor. Wombat and friend droning out red stairs. Good to see. And Skylight, that's a risky play for anyone. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it's going to be here so far. Alibi down in Library. So we got two on the roam then. Interesting. Yeah, let's hopefully Sway can find them. Mm -hmm. They are dealing with Ticket Wall at the moment. I didn't see if they got the electricity off, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Interesting Ooh, as sorry well. about the stutter there, folks. <laughs> Interesting as well that a few people are looking at towards the same angles. Yeah. Could be a possible sneak attack. We do want people to cover different angles, mm -hmm. but we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> so they have noticed Liston's presence on the repel. And. Ooh, was that a run out? No. Nah. I don't think they'll be running out quite yet. All right, Sway already going in for a couple shots. Let's see if get some hits in here. Yes, attackers have taken Christmas's immediate control, but white stairs is still a huge issue, Ooh, especially the hallway. Alibi taking a good amount of damage from theirs. Oh yeah, listen, try to get the pre-fire. Of course, One good down. job. They know there's an alibi around. Hopefully no one else falls for it now that she's dead. And with one minute left, let's see how we back. Ooh. All right, Wombat is down. Yeah, Kate is holding that freezer area very tightly. Does not want to let go. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa, okay. We've got that nitro going off and plus the extra kill. 1v4, but it's really a 1v2. All right, Kaisen's oh. got to get this. We got one down and then two left. Oh man, Kaisen's really having trouble with these gadgets. Darn. Looks like both defenders have dropped below him, but he doesn't quite realize. Oh, oh no. Man. Unfortunate there wasn't a camera on the white stairs or anywhere nearby give him a bit of a forewarning on that. Mm -hmm. He could have taken sight so easily if he just knew that there was only a single down person there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's the first round. It's the warm-up. They st Still plenty of opportunity That's to true. bring it back for the for UNM, but a good first round to, to Wisconsin. 
Yeah, they're starting to feel each other out now and what they like to do in their rounds. So here we are. Defenders have swapped out for a Vigil, it looks like. And and we got a Flores coming in. True, and a Jackal. Lot, got a lot more intel this time, which will be a very helpful. I don't think... I don't think the did the Joker be doing any calls? I didn't hear anything or see anything. I didn't hear anything, but it is a bit subtle, so you have to definitely be on the lookout for that. True. I'm not sure she ever got the chance to hack camps either. Mm -hmm. We did uh, UNM did lose a lot of players in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. All right, Kate's still got one gadget setting up. He's got the main bakery wall. Probably will go for freezer wall or freezer hatch, depending on what he's feeling. I like that drone setup by Sway. Mm -hmm. Very good drone placement, able to see all the way down to the hallway to small bake. And yeah, I'm hoping to see some more drones coming in handy. I, I really think Kai could have won that if he just had a bit more intel. Mm -hmm. Or at the very least, he wouldn't have died to such an unfortunate bit of timing there. Mm -hmm. Dan Cade's on the roam in <laughs> coats. You don't usually see the three armors roaming that hard. But we got Vigil up in library. He's ready for Liston. But if he uses Gadget now, Liston's going to know that there's a Vigil somewhere. Activating drone. What a throw. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone's coming up bakery. Mai's not going to have much to do at the moment. Kaizen knows there's a vigil around. Wombat's going for freezer. We're losing a lot of drones right now. Mm -hmm. And, okay, Warden is hiding in laundry supplies. We got Wamai well, going for the long peek down to bar and dining. Another drone gone. Losing a lot of intel this time. But hopefully with the Flores drones, they'll at least be able to get some impacts out of it. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think the defenders were roaming third floor. We really need to get oh. a move on. We're down to a minute and 20 seconds. Oh, Wombat was found. Oh. Word in hiding the prone laundry behind prone. the laundries. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't fall for that a second Ooh. time. Nice shot by the Buck. Well. Good use of his gadget there. And taking out the Warden. Great shot by Sway. Taking out the default cams. We should have second floor control at this point, I believe. But there's just not enough players to uh, exert it too hard. But they're opening up the floorboards, giving more, at least a bit of more insight into the site. Yes, Sway's definitely putting the pressure on the last two defenders. Mm -hmm. That's good to see. Let's see if Kaizen and Liston can push in and get that plant down. Mm -hmm. It'll just be interesting to see how well these, these last two defenders can hide out from the rest of the team. With the one man in, with the one man advantage on the UNM cherry side. If only they had a drone down by small bake to keep that clear. Ooh. Ooh. One v two. I don't think Sway has enough time to make it wow. unless they get really thirsty for kills. Mm -hmm. But no, they're gonna play it cool here. Ah. Uh, Unfortunate. Did they ever get the main hatch to freezer open? I didn't see it. if they got it open. I think they were just really focusing on the floorboards. Yeah. And upstairs, like in, tr in train, and it's definitely helpful to be bringing some kind of hard reach gadget for that, and saving EMPs with Doka before that hatch. If you know there's going to be a Cade. All right. Going in for the Ram this time. That'll def definitely, definitely. You want to open up floorboards? Ram is your friend. <laughs> Ram will definitely be your friend there. Yes, and now we're coming into round three. Looks like we're not bringing the Cade. But we have a castle and a thorn on defenders. We've got... Looks like train and dining room. How are you feeling about their gameplay style so far? It's been interesting. I mean, Cherry's been... They ha they've been doing their pushes, but it's just... 
had some just some hard fights going on, I would say. Yeah, I think their biggest issue at the current moment is their lack of drones. Their yeah. drones are being sought out very hard, and the defenders are finding them. It looks go. like defenders dropped a player. Oh. We might have to restart this round. Five seconds remaining. Look, everyone's going to keep playing like normal until it oh. comes back. Yep, okay. <laughs> going to be... Yes, looks okay. like we're going to be re-hosting that, everybody. Sorry about that. It'll be just a couple minutes until the round starts back up again. <clears throat> but, I mean, for what we saw so far, it's going to be interesting to see how they can further change or adapt their strategies. Yes. I really hope to see them be more careful with their drones. I think their lack of flank watch is having issues a lot for UNM. Especially if we can, <clears throat> if that Dokubi can get cams like as soon as they can, as soon as possible, that's definitely going to be a game changer for our UNM Cherry team. Yes, if they can just single out a roamer, isolate them, and get that camera hack, mm -hmm. it'll be hugely helpful. Mm -hmm. Especially if the defenders bring their own intel ops. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I don't think I've really seen too many intels by the defenders so far at Wisconsin. Not yet. <clears> I mean, <throat> with the alibi, but. That's really been our on our only like indicator of any intel is just that one alib the like few alibi drones. But once you get that alibi alibi killed, yeah, you just know not to shoot anymore. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> but they still seem to be holding well off. I mean, they've been able to kind of hold off on from our teams pushing in, which is pretty good on which is very good on their side. But yeah, I'm hoping to see some more. Mm, I'm thinking. Some trap clearing as well. Mm. Have I were they playing Legion earlier? I believe so. Yep, we had a I believe there was a Legion earlier. Yeah, they should be easier to see it ever since his traps were made visible and I just wanna see a bit more communication between U and M's teams. It's a bit hard to be clearly of in clearly and effectively communicating when you've got so few seconds left. Yeah, in a high pressure high pressure <coughs> situation, I think the last thing on their minds is trying to talk to each other, but in the end, it's kind of the most one of the most important things. Yes, UNM needs to be taking down taking some site control and being able to hold it. So far it's really been down to gunfights, unfortunately, and w we haven't gotten full use out of our util like in the first round when almost half the team just died very quickly in, during the last few seconds of the round. I will say they had a really good nitro throw that took out two of our players. Unfortunate, but very good throw. Yeah. <laughs> Every time a nitro comes at me, I'm always wanting to just be that hero and just <laughs> shoot it immediately. Captain America? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to see if we'll see any shield picks. I know the last game had some crazy upsets mm -hmm. uh we saw like clash being used uh blitz being used and it was super unusual i we usually don't see those kind of ops being played by unm cherry yeah but i mean new strategy <coughs> new year who knows what's going to be happening true Just keeps the game exciting <coughs> especially with the butterfly monty butterfly monty skins oh yeah <laughs> yeah Ever since Rainbow's Magic's come in, there's been a lot of bright <laughs> operators. Keeps it a little bit funny. But yeah, you don't normally want to be broadcasting yourself that brightly, though. Well, yeah, and like in this kind of scenario, I guess. <laughs> but it makes it a little bit funny when you get that kill, and you're like, huh, I had this butterfly skin on this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little BM, but <laughs> we're just going to have to see what happens next. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get this the game restarted. I wonder if it was just server crashing or something of the sort. Yeah, I hope that none of the players are having major Wi-Fi issues and it was just a quick hiccup by a ser the main server. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Always blame Ubisoft. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen any Tachanka being played yet. He's gotten that rework to buff his damage up to 60. I, I really want to play with uh, as him more. <laughs> Janka is fun to play, but yeah, definitely some sort of just way to kind of hold people in their own place while you having the get the rush in definitely would be be also a pretty good game changer for our friends here. 
yeah, I don't think we've seen too much in terms of area denial by Wisconsin yet. They've been holding their angles pretty well. But it looks like we're heading back in, folks. Let's see how it plays out. Especially since everyone's sort of kind of gone through this already. Mm -hmm. Bit of a Groundhog Day situation. <laughs> see if we have any switch-ups for any operator picks. We got a Zofia. Oh, man. Okay. Coming back in with same ops, looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good to see. Here we go. I wonder if they'll be changing their setup slightly, actually. I don't yeah. know if the rules extend as far as performing the same setup. Playing Souls and Mirror Thatcher ban. <laughs> oh, that's. it looks like the bans did not get inputted when the custom game started again. All right, we'll just have to remember not to pick those ops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I definitely want to see some more use out of that Jackal and the Zofia to be clearing out the different utilities. Oh, yeah, getting some stuns down is definitely going to be a huge help. Yes, but Wamai is going to be an issue for that, that's for sure. True. And the Jaeger. They're going really hard on the nade denial here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, UNM Esports hasn't, they haven't really been using much uh, util besides their own gadgets, so like no impacts or anything like that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to, they're going to have even more trouble now that we've got some extra nade denial. <clears throat> oh, we got some flashbangs in there. Some smoke. We'll see if yeah, that. Hopefully, we can get a bit of burn in. Okay, mm -hmm. Callie's coming up, peeking Go. into freezer. Going for the skylight too. Oh my goodness. Risky plays. Risky plays. There is we'll defender presence on all three floors. And Mai's holding skylight and from cocktail, mainly peeking new balk. Probably. UNM's trying to get in through Red Hatch and just get that ticket wall open. But they gotta be worried about that Red Stairs push. Especially with Albi down there. Let's see if they can drone her out. Attackers have located a bomb. Ooh, that's an interesting wall opening. Yeah, Alibi's got a nice hold here in train. She's got the red that red wall opened up. Yeah. Hibana's got that hatch open. We're going to be able to push into the train, get into the second floor. Looks like Z Sway is trying to clear out Cocktail. It doesn't look like he has anyone droning him, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any defenders, except for Wamai, of course. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's almost a game of chicken. Who's going to peek first and who's going to pre-fire? Mm hmm <coughs> Neither want to go for the swing. Yeah, he's not using his gadget to take out the shield. Oh. Just kind of standing there. Or Maybe he's yelling at someone to drone him. Or the concussion grenade. All right, it looks like Wamai lost that fight. Oh. Okay, down to a 2v4. 2v, yes. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Still got the thorn in the castle left. That was a very fast turn, turn up. Mm -hmm. Turn of events. Wombat's coming in. He's getting the soft breach down. They see something. Oh, but it's a 2v2 now, and attackers have dropped Diffuser. Where is it? Oh, it looks like down by Ooh. south this side. This is taking a lot of hits. Ooh. All right, Buck Wombat. goes down. It's up to Wombat. Wombat is our final That vertical standing. play. Oh, there is someone there. Oh, okay. We got Good one. shot. Got the one. Now it is. He managed not to take too much damage there. Mm -hmm. They have almost equal health. Oh, but that angle by Thorn, that's going to be a huge issue now. He cannot afford to miss the head. Oh, man. Oh. Darn. That was a good play by both, both sides. Oh, my yeah. high intensity. It almost oh would have worked if he had a pistol there, but uh, he just didn't quite get the head on that Thorn, and she was able to take him down to so that sliver of health. Mm -hmm. Whew. All right, coming up. Looks like they're probably going to be... Third floor should be unlocked by now. Yep, they're going back up. 
We've got some new operators this time, bringing the Mute and the Thorn third floor. However, Warden and Mayan Alibi seem to be strong stays for Wisconsin. Be interesting to see if our team's gonna outla their drones outlast the mutes. Yes. At this point, you probably only want to be committing one drone as a sack at this point. Mm -hmm. It's just very dangerous. Well, Mute is getting ticket, but he's also getting those drone holes by Cigar. Red stairs. Udom's gonna have a lot of trouble with Intel this time. And looks like they know it. They're switching out operators, bringing a Twitch, switching to Ace. And a Ying. I imagine Sway is wanting to deal with situations like with him and that Wamai from earlier. Oh yes. <laughs> the Ying. Oh, we got a switch. To we got a Ying switch. Definitely That's right. Those candelas are gonna come in <clears throat> handy. That'll be interesting again to see if they it gets used. That Zovia. True. If Wamai can get some good Wamai placements, he could deny that Ying pretty hard. Mm -hmm. All right, no major spawn peaks happening right now, but Thorn is on the roam, second floor. All right, attackers have made it to the roof, coming up on the hatches to break those open. Hatches are open, Let's see if anybody gets anything Ooh, from Skylight. Warden's hit. Did he hit himself with his own nitro? Possibly. I wonder what that, what just happened there. Right, still alibis roaming downstairs too now. UNM's trying to negotiate the red stairs hatch. We got a mute taken Ooh. down from the bathroom angle. Wow. Good shot there. Dill could be okay. That's a good EMP. Definitely getting that wall open. Is All right. Help. UNM has ticket access. Going to be pushing into Pixel very soon. There is someone cigar lounge, I believe. But a lot more oh, intel coming out of Down UNM. at the start of Pillar Thorn. Warden's really hurting here. He's gonna probably want to be backing off soon. Mm -hmm. Wama's getting some good twitch droning in. He's taking out a few gadgets. Good to allow for more intel. Oh man, how oh. is this warden alive? Oh, he's down. He's still going. The buck pellets he's are not going. getting him. <laughs> Does he know oh, that he's down? Behind, behind the shield down. He must know he's down. It's just baiting him. Oh, there he goes. All like, right. There goes our... There down goes to a 2v4. <laughs> Good job by you and them. They're taking Christmas, coming in the bathroom. We'll see if they know. If Freezer's up next. Final defenders are Cocktail and White Stairs. Cocktail has been found out, so we'll see if that can play to the advantage. It's a 2v3. It looks like... That UNM is droning them out, getting the correct locations. Oh, but Thorn is sneaking through Freezer. And coming through Pixel. I don't think they've realized quite yet. Alright, it's a 1v3. You don't necessarily have to. Okay. Gunfight well one. Good job, Wombat. Done. I was about to say, if you can just corner the defender, you can even just get plant down while forcing the defender to be stuck there. Mm hmm. But hey, winning the gunfight's not so bad either. And the first round to UNM. Still a 3v1. We will see how this continues to play out. If UW is going to see if they switch up their strategy. Now that they know kind of UNM got their little moment of breathe, relax, see what how it goes. Mm -hmm. They're still bringing that mute. And he's going to definitely be a thorn in Twitch's side. They're definitely going to have to figure out how to navigate those throughout the site. Mm -hmm. Still going for third floor too. They, Wisconsin knows that they got a strong hold and they're trying to prove that this was just a fluke. Be interesting <clears throat> to see if they change up any of their strats now that, that UNM's finally got a round on them. Yeah, I haven't seen too much variation in the reinforcements. Oh, wonder what that warden's doing. I hope he isn't lagging out. Kind of just froze for a second there. Doesn't do, do we have a pixel shield this time? It doesn't look like it. Maybe it was just the angle. Okay, it's there. It is there, yeah. Pixel shield right. so cl is such a classic. Yeah, Wisconsin knows this setup and is very comfortable in it. It looks like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
UNM's bringing almost the same operators. However, we do have the Finca and Flores picks by Wombat and Sway, respectively. Let's see how they how they use that to their advantage for this time. Definitely got a lot oh more intel last round, which was really beneficial. That's right. Looks like UNM has most of their drones so far. That's good. Just having those flank angles can be so helpful, even if it's just a sound call. Mm -hmm. All right, Wisconsin's finishing off the last of their setup, looks like. Unum's go about to get these hatches open. Got one defender roaming by pillars in the entrance. Flores is going down to take out some utility. He might get muted off, though. He knows there's a mute to deal with. All right, gets shot out. Looks like by someone from Nubalk? Looks like it. <coughs> but that just gives more intel for our t for UNM. Mm -hmm. Warden's hoping to catch someone on the roam, but at, there's nobody down white stairs right now. Listen, trying to see if he can get a bathroom pick off. Doesn't look like they're wanting to challenge that after what happened last round, though. Looks like UNM's being a little bit less challenged here. However, Warden is coming up. Uh, not okay. That's White Stairs. Mistake on my part. But we're down to four v five. Doke using one of first call. Bomb located by attacker. Oh man, mute goes down to the wombat. It's a vicious little critter there. Sledge right. really opening up a bunch of the site, opening up a lot more. I don't think they know Wamai's deep freezer. He's waiting. He's biding his time. He's, if he's he got that trigger discipline, he can get Activate maybe two kills here. Oh, we got. All right, Sway's down. Dokabi's down. All right, Wamai's down. That was a costly mistake. Kaizen going Ooh. for the plant. Yes, and we still got a roamer off site who needs to make his way back. UNM has the health advantage at this point, but we'll see how far that can All right. Looks like he knows that he downed him, and it, good job, UNM. Let's go. That was a bit scary with the freezer play. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one, my took down a lot of people there. But a great round taken for UNM. That's right. Looks like they're making their comeback, and we'll see if they Wisconsin decides to keep going for third floor plays. Mm -hmm. But we got the Fenrir coming up. Ooh, that's gonna be it. that's gonna definitely be an interesting change. Yeah, Fenrir is an interesting pick. Nobody likes to fight Fenrir, <laughs> but oh man, is he nice to have on your team? Oh yes. Coming up on first floor, Wisconsin has changed to Fenrir and Vigil, and a dock. It looks like. I do you think that's a nice pick if UNM has been downing a lot of people? So if that dot can revive them re quickly enough and from a safe distance, but that if, could really help out. And if found out, definitely is going to be a first, uh, ne a first kill. Yes, downed people are going to be a lot more valuable now. Mm -hmm. UNM is switching over to Jackal and Ram now that they know their first floor. We still got the Buck, Ace, and Dokabi. Doesn't look like they're going to be putting any roam presence on third floor. Or maybe, was that a dock going up there? All right, coming in. Yunam is approaching from all spawns. <laughs> <clears throat> got, his main, got all the angles you can. Yep, it looks right. like we got that visual on third floor doing a roam. Let's see if... Yeah, is that Doc going for a, a major peak by Christmas windows? Interesting choice. Up on tickets. Yeah. I guess he's ready to catch someone coming through Red Hatch. Mm -hmm. One less person or one less operator, I guess, to worry about, but we'll see if that comes to their advantage. Yeah, he's got the bigger health pool, but it's going to take him so long to get back to sight if things go wrong here. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, saw that little vigil at the edge of his screen. I know he's on the run. Already got freezer wall open. Unfortunate for Kai, got peeked out by Alibi. At least freezer is open. We'll have to see if they can start droning out and just clearing out defenders. 
because like they may have wall open, but we still need to get these roamers out of here in order to be able to get vertical play going. Yeah. Looks like that Doc and the Vigil know that there are people on third floor. It'll be... See if that is a detriment to UNM. Oh, man. Fenrir is holding. Oh. Dang. Coat checks. Fenrir is taken down. Right. Now we just have All to right, and the clear out his traps. Vigil is... Whew. Doc goes down in laundry. We're at a 2v3. The last two defenders are on site, looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, where is that Wamai? I was going to say, at least one on site then. All right, Wamai is coming back into site. They know that the vertical angles are being made. They're going to have to be worrying about above their heads. However, UNM doesn't look like there's anyone downstairs at the moment. No, okay, Sway's downstairs. He's the only actor right now that can take sight. We've been missing Diffuser this whole round ever since Kai got caught by that unfortunate angle. Mm -hmm. Might be going for kill more for a kill more than they will be able to plant, but... Yes, at this point, never mind. They couldn't get that. That's good. Doesn't look like we have any drones being used to watch any off angles. Everyone's clearing it with their gun. All right, down to a 1v3. Hopefully we can get a plant down. Sway going for the plant. At this point, wamai has got to be very careful. Pick your battles correctly. See how it goes. All right, UNM now can hold angles. Doesn't have to be pushing on that Wamai. But they might go anywhere. It looks like he's trying to bait them out get some decent picks, but he's only getting damaged on out. Yeah, he's in a very hard position. At this point, he's just going to have to want to pre-fire everything. 20 seconds left. Oh! Oof. All right, and the round goes to UNM. Good hard, job, UNM. Hard fought from, from Madison, but, you know. Yeah, once you're down to one person against three, there's just too many angles to be dealing with. The worst situations. <laughs> Truly the worst. But we'll see how that changes their play. Yep, UNM's coming up as defenders now. This will be e interesting to see. Fenrir is being picked by UNM right off the bat. We've got, in addition to that, Fenrir, Smoke, Legion, Mute, and Kaid. And for Wisconsin, they've got the Ash, the Twitch, Defenders and Ace, and Iana, and Dokumi. Twitch has been a big help in, with our last team, so... Yeah, UNM has been using Twitch to clear out a lot of Defender's utility, taking out those fake alibis, Attackers taking out extra proximity charges. We'll have to see if they can shoot the drones before they can take out their util now. But UNM has a pretty good history with def with their defending, so. Yes, that's right. I'm especially excited by the Fenrir pick, because he can be super oppressive. Mm -hmm. Five seconds to insertion. And I'm liking these placements over by Christmas, Inter Cigar, and Whitehall. Interesting. White we have no pixel. We have uh, no pixel shield. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. No shield. I hope UNM knows what they're doing, as that is an important shield. But at the same time, they don't have any nade denial. So that could be taken out very quickly by anyone with a Gone 6 or a Zofia. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it looks like Wisconsin did switch and, intent and have brought Bravo along. They might be able to hack a few Fenrir gadgets. That could be a disaster. Oh, God. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Bravo play just in general, so it'll be cool to see what she does. She's definitely hard to do, especially with a mute on the enemy team, mm -hmm. and because her drones are have such big hitboxes compared to your average drone. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I like that angle by Kai. All right. That first mute is hacked. Bravo's getting a lot of work done. Not too much against her, but she does fall into that mute trap. It's always the second mute. 
All right, Wisconsin's getting ticket wall open. Good work there. Doesn't look like anyone's roaming red stairs look. Yeah, most of UNM is playing on site. We've got Wombat down by pillars. And probably watching for the for the new balk drop. Oh yeah. That is a nice angle to watch new balk drop mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, Gone Six goes off. Did it get it? Did he just waste that on a soft wall? Or was that a bulletproof? I don't know what Narayana was doing there, but she knows there's someone in freezer. Listen, getting spotted inside Dang. freezer. This has lost a lot of health. Wombat gets taken out. Oh, oh, okay. Four v four. Three v four. All right, there are currently no major roamers in play. Wisconsin knows that they can move pretty safely right now, but that Ash is still a little paranoid. Oh, we got we do have like Kaid on the white stairs just in case anybody decides to come peek up that way. Oh man, Swade's really gambling with that nitro there. <laughs> Tricks bringing in the flashbangs. Might be dropping new bulk soon. Oh man, Kai is down. He sees him through the smokes and gets him out. Listens down. All right, Buster is coming up on site through white stairs. I don't know, Callie's might hear him, might not. Ooh, with and all these the gunfights happening. Sway behind the bar. One oh, it's two. All down to Sway. If he can just force the plant. Let's yes, go. and he doesn't die. Manages um, to survive. Wow. Whew. Really hanging in by a thread there. Oh my goodness. That Ash was so close to him. <laughs> but he manages to make that cover work in his advantage. Well done. That was very close. Wisconsin oh got a goodness. serious foothold on there. Mm -hmm. It was really just down to the, the franticness inspired by the clock. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unum's coming up first floor. Uh, and of course, attackers are bringing the ram. She's so good for these soft wall, soft floors. The castle the being an interesting pick as well, down. unless that's being used out yes, of... Yes, I do know Wombat likes his castle. <laughs> he knows some of these setups, mm -hmm. even if he doesn't like the UMP's f slow fire rate. <laughs> but does not make him a bad option. Indeed. And now we're coming to a Flores off of the Ash by X1A. Ooh, I, can Callie's... Dang. All right, all three. That's a good spot. Ooh. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the favorite gamble. I like seeing his camera flick <laughs> up and down. That's a nice spot, Callies. <laughs> all right, Wisconsin's on the attack now. Here we go. Also coming in from all angles. Fuse will be nice here. If he can clear out some Fenrir traps and any mutes. No, wait, it's not mute. It's a smoke. Of course it's a smoke. Of course. Smoke is the classic. They brought mute the last two times. Why would I think it's a mute? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Doesn't look like they have. Good chunk of well, have six. Good chunk of Wisconsin going upstairs, third floor to start. There is one roamer coming up red stairs. Let's see if they drone him out. He's just taking care of that second floor. He does not see the engine player. Oh. Oh. I think he missed him. <gasps> yep. All right, Liston is in. No, oh, he's not in anymore. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Unfortunate. Well, hey, good use of drones by Wisconsin. Yeah. Double check your area. Double check your friends. Mm -hmm. All right, now Liston's just wasting their time, making sure they don't know where he is. You don't necessarily have to be fighting them so long as they're just afraid of you. True. All right. Attackers have taken that train or the train and engine areas. They're going to be messing with any defenders in kitchen. First the fuses, but not no kills coming out of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like any util is being destroyed either. Don't want to use all those fuse charges at once. All right, 4v4, they take out Liston. 
Oh. But Wombat gets a cheeky little flank there. Magnet going out. He's got his pick and he's out. Going in for the wall bang. Just for fun. Alright, the last three attackers are all second floor. And all of UNM is on first floor. Alright, Brava's coming in. She's hacking gadgets. Do they have any more hard breach gadgets? Okay, Buck has some. So Freezer is still a possibility. But those hard breaches don't leave a very big hole. And heading to almost 30 seconds on the clock. We'll see how well they can push in. Yeah, Smoke's going to get some serious utility out of this. They managed to run down the clock so far. Mm -hmm. And they still got to contend with the castle traps. <laughs> Except he can just go through the rotate hole. Yeah, you know. Right. All right, covering Smoke off all exits. Gadgets. And... Oh, oh, tricky down. Exa's on oh. the last one. Well but done. But they got forced by the time. Good job, UNM. You got really forced them into a bad position there. That timer has been an enemy for both sides for all of this game, but UNM seems to be taking it to their advantage. Yeah, both sides, I'm noticing, are getting kind of slowed down once they lose a few people. A few people. They get really worried about the any roam flanks, and that's a huge issue. Panic really setting in for both of our, for both teams. Yep. I want to see a bit more anti roam play by Wisconsin. They've been getting really close so far. I think they can do it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Especially knowing it's typically been one roamer. You, they could. Yeah, do. UNM's not doing too much roam right now. Which I think is a little odd, but it looks like they're trying to tone down how aggressive they're playing here. Holding on to sight. Get, you, get some wins, I guess. Well, yeah, you, you kind of need to be on sight to plant anything. True. Right. Let's see how the second floor hold fares against these new attackers. Switching out the Twitch for a Nomad. And swapping to from Iana to Sledge looks like the tricks. And Sway bringing, Sway bringing the Legion as well is going to also get some intel for our teams, but also some slowdown for Wisconsin. Attackers are moving out to locate yes. a bomb and it it. Can, when Brava hacks a Legion, does it destroy it or it simply convert it to their team? I'm not quite sure, actually. I don't usually see that interaction too often. Mm -hmm. Then I guess we'll figure it out. Today will we'll be see. Today we'll figure it out. I'm always curious if there's, if there was an attack, a defender that could hack things. It'd be funny if they hacked the nomads. <laughs> yeah, that's also somebody who hasn't been picked a whole lot. Yeah, this is our first, no this is our first nomad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it looks like Wisconsin's the only one that's been bringing Bravo so far. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Monkey Monies is getting that red stair cleared out. Third floor is very important here. We've got Wombat on the roam. But it looks like it's just him up there. Yeah, they're slowly droning him out. They don't want to be too cocky here, but they are coming up. Dang, we lost one over by Cigar. And that is our Nomad. Good shot by Sway. He's the actually up there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sway getting the Nomad down, denying denying themselves some roam support. Or anti-roam right, support. Right, that's one Brava drone down. Wombat goes out, spectating. Oh, oh. man, a Sledge is down. I don't think that UNM realizes, though. Or at least he can't act off of it at the moment. Sway's just hiding in Cigar. He's, he's playing the long con, it looks like. And with the Sludge being picked up again, offers a little bit more support, a little bit more intel help. I see you oh. spectating him, Wombat. Get on a camera. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Down to the 1v4. Oh, oh man. That Sludge is hanging on. It's a horror game now. This sledge <laughs> is watching his team die. Dang. Fitting for the Halloween season, <laughs> but oh my goodness. 
Yeah, once it yeah, was down to the wire, UNM knew they could come out <laughs> to start roaming and playing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Wow. <laughs> match point already. Oh, my goodness. Match point. I feel like we might see this even go to the third map. Mm -hmm. it, it's really going back and forth so far. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin having a really great start, but UNM having a better comeback. Mm -hmm. But we will see how that fares. Yeah, up in that second Night Haven labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Okay. So, Wisconsin is bringing the Ace, Iana, Dokubi, Twitch, and Ash. UNM's pretty confident in their lineup, but they did switch out for Mozzie and Valkyrie. And a clash by Callies. Okay. Okay. Now they're getting really intense here. <laughs> they're getting real funky up in here. <clears throat> All right, Sway, show us your Valk cams. <laughs> you still got two left. If we see anybody who's not on cams, they have no excuse now. There's extra now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will know if you're not on cams. <laughs> Chalk it up for <clears> notes <throat> for later. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb. How do you think the Clash is a good pick here? Like, Wisconsin's having a bit of trouble trying to take control before time runs out. UNM's getting a lot of time wasting done. Mm -hmm. And what is Clash What is Clash better for than just wasting time? Plus, with no Sophia on the other side, it'll be harder to take her out. True. I don't think I see any frag grenades either. Maybe they didn't drone her out? Because that's a very risky play. Like Clash is a menace if you aren't prepared to deal with her. All right, ticket walls opened up. We got the Valk cam being held in Christmas. That's good intel for the Clash. <clears throat> Going for out, wow. Ooh. Doing a quick little run out. Yeah, he manages to get the barricade back up though. No one was there. <laughs> Got a lot of attackers stacking red hatch. Droning it out. We're down to a minute 45. They're droning second floor. And we've already got first kill from Wombat. Taking out the Ayana. One less Oh, the Busters manages to get the trade on him. Mm -hmm. All right. He's very slowly going up white stairs. Doesn't look like they're like that uh, Buck has any drones for him at the moment. If you could get a teammate to help him out, that would be very effective. And a phone call coming off. As there are fewer defenders, Clash becomes a lot more stressful to play. Mm -hmm. You no longer have safety in the angles that you're expecting to have it. Must be watching your back. All right, but all three defenders are in the same general location, and Clash is really messing them up. And down our Valkyrie. Yeah, as long as the Clash can keep harassing and the Valkyrie can be revived, things should be okay. But Kai's got to make his way over to that Valk. <clears throat> and a Fenrir oh, going off. Good the Fenrir kill. placement. Mm -hmm. Completely screwing up that attacker's push. Picked up Sway. Oh, Callies is taken down. All right, the one X18. Let's get in some kills. Two v one. Kaizen coming in. Hoping for a clutch. Oh man, they got the plant down. All right, Kai SMG <laughs> skills go. <laughs> X1A is getting harassed by another Fenrir trap. But they've still got a strong hold here. Kai goes oh. down from the ticket wall. Good job by Wisconsin there. Yeah, Wisconsin really brought that one back. Yeah, that clash was definitely messing them up, but they managed to get rid of her. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Still in match point, though. I respect it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, UNM's coming up to bar. Or, no, they switched sites down to the first floor. They Mostly the same lineup. They were able to hold up really well in that kitchen site. Oh. That's true. Hopefully they'll be able to just waste as much time as they can. Yeah. 
looks like we've got some similar lineups coming up. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. And yeah, yeah, Castle and just very light roaming by UNM is doing wonders for wasting Wisconsin's time. <clears throat> Usually when there's one roamer, there's at least another somewhere behind. Yeah, someone's going to get cheeky and replace that roamer to <laughs> take him out. Got a lot of operator switch-ups by Wisconsin, bringing the Fuse, the Ram, and Gridlock. And now a Dokapi. Uh, the, the Gridlock's a good pick here. There's only two, well actually three main stairs that I have to contend with due to the second and third f first floor's connections. So Gridlock can really help after they've secured that control. Mm -hmm. Or just hold off angles for those roamers who are always there. <laughs> yes. They are always there. <laughs> okay, coming up. Who is that second floor? It's Liston. Second floor, okay. that is our, yeah, that's Liston on the Fenrir. Hiding Listen, out in... about to redeem himself. <laughs> hiding out in laundry, seeing if he can get some sort of cheeky pick from White Stairs. Alright, someone tosses a drone into Christmas. They are vulnerable to another run out. But I don't think Wombat's going to be doing that right now as Castle. <clears throat> Tricks and Piab on drones. Have they spotted the roamers? It looks like they're still just looking around. They know somebody's up there. Just not who yet. Or when. Guys, we got a UNM coming up. The red stairs. Gridlock's not looking back. Wombat's very... He's not walking, but he's revealed himself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Gridlock goes down, drops Diffuser by Pixel. Fenrir has control. Already, yeah, already got bomb control by the Fenrir, but it'll be interesting. All right, Buster's got to get over here and reclaim that Diffuser. Second kill from Liston. That fuse is out. That takes out a lot of damage from top floor, which is going to be really good for that for our team. Yeah, and with attackers down to five drones, they've got a, five drones. They have a lot less intel than they would like. Oh. And three people left means attackers two less people to be operating leader. drones. Hacking! But they managed to take out Liston, and Dokubi's getting those cams for the dead people to watch. A bomb has been located. Hopefully, Liston calls that out to his team, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they break that bulletproof before it becomes too much of an issue. Looks like UNM is willing to let them have that thir uh, second floor control. They're just playing the anchor game now. But Wombat is lightly roaming. Ooh, Busters hasn't seen anyone quite yet. Could be worth to shoot open the floor above that uh, coffee. And we still got one outside. Yes, Ram has gone back to the police van. Got to have to deal with Sway and Bakery. 15 seconds. Let's see if seconds Sway just really got to go for the push. Trapped by the fa oh. oh, was able to predict where he was. But are they going to have shot. enough time? Yes, you got to get those gunfights down. One person left. Wow. But UNM clutches it. You. That was so close again. Truly, truly a test of who can waste the most time the most efficiently. Yes. Well done. First <clears> game <throat> going to UNM. All right. I can't wait to see this Night Haven gameplay. That's going to be fun. That is, yeah. <clears throat> Anything major you're noticing about those uh, play styles? Yeah, I mean... Definitely, UNM ha definitely brought the comeback, of course, with like kind of having yeah, that that's second a respectable to comeback. definitely having that second to be like, all right, let's see how they play this, taking breaths, kind of realizing that the kills are not always going to win you the games, but wasting time absolutely will. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen a lot of improvement on UNM's part. A lot of the times in the past, they've been really thirsty for those kills, and it looks like they were going for clips, really. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Definitely, all, as and as many people were playing as anchors that time, kind of having the lighter rooms instead of the hard pushes that 
uh, Wisconsin was showing definitely was giving them the advantage of just having as much site control as you can and f not even site control but just full floor in general. Yes, their patience is really paying off now. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what Wisconsin's going to be doing in response. They were able to have a pretty strong start off with their defense. They were able to hold their angles and just deny UNM's pushes into third floor, first floor a lot of the time. <coughs> Intel was definitely the name of the game that in this last match. Mm -hmm. Be interesting how that's going to play out in the next in our next game. Yeah, now that we're back into Nighthaven, again, I don't think I've seen that being played in any of our current matches so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited to see what UNM setups for that are going to be. <clears throat> Still, I, I really do think it could get to border down to the tiebreaker rounds. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about UNM's Nighthaven, which is going to be real interesting to see how that fares against Wisconsin. I'm not. I have no idea their strategies for this. It's still a newer map, so a lot of stuff is still up in the air. Yeah, and it's just such a big area. Mm -hmm. Even if it's only got, I believe, three total four still. So it's going to be tough to navigate and roam clear that area. I think. True. <clears throat> it will be interesting to see, but I am excited to see how this plays out, especially with how close this last game was. Be very. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet we'll see some more. Rome sided uh, bands in the operators. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll get rid of that gridlock or jackal. He was up last game, surprisingly enough. I would be surprised if Dokubi wasn't up for contention for that ban. Oh yes, that was with definitely her ability to make your phone vibrate. <laughs> exactly, that is annoying. A big favorite amongst both teams, but also maybe the Twitch, knowing that how much intel that they're gonna have to get, or like how much utility they're gonna have to get rid of. Yeah. I'm curious to see how the teams will decide to change up how they allocate operators to site as well as roaming and just how far off site they're willing to roam. Because, mm -hmm. again, Nighthaven's a fairly sizable map. You can get pretty isolated if you really want to. And with how many corners that people can just be sitting around and just all the different little angles that you can find on that map, it's going to be really a game of a little bit of a game of hide and seek. That's what I'm mm -hmm. thinking is going to happen this next game. Yeah, I bet if if he's not banned, I think we'll see a lot of Lion being played mm -hmm. because <clears throat> his anti-roam at least covers the entire map. Yeah. So he'll be super valuable here. Probably, I'd be surprised if we got as much RAM as we did in that last one. Oh, she, that's right. She really came in ha handy for all of our teams. Yeah, I don't think RAM is going to be quite use as useful here. Mm -hmm. I rarely play Nighthaven because that's just how the ranked bands were <laughs> work out. Of course. But um, I don't think it has quite as much soft floor or ceiling as, um, what was it, Cafe. Yeah, <coughs> that was definitely, that ram really came in clutch for both teams. I bet we'll see some bandit tricking, though. Cafe doesn't have quite as heavy bandit tricking, but there are a few external walls over in these Nighthaven labs. So I bet we'll be seeing that. And it I'd be surprised, if, I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot of ut uh, our secondhand util usage, like any of the flashes or anything. I've, there was really not much going on. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, to there was so much nade denial that I, I think they just kind of got conditioned not to use it. Yeah. <coughs> but you can still, br the burnout definitely could come into handy, especially depending, depending on who it is. Yeah, if you just coordinate with your teammate and burn out some stuff before you throw in a drone, that'll be super useful. Yeah. <clears throat> be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. Have you been able to play any of the Halloween event here in Siege? Oh, one of my favorite events. I I I do in fact love the Siege events. And I really the doc the new Doctor's Curse skins look actually pretty okay. Yeah, I've always really liked their Halloween skins. I, I'm glad that you can like earn a few more packs now with the battle pass at mm -hmm. least. But oh, yeah. holy crap, <laughs> I I don't think any event mode makes me as mad as Halloween. Yeah, it <coughs> is. But I kind of uh, I really oh, I will kind of wish that they brought back that th that theme park re uh, like Halloween rework into like, just for fun, just to throw it in. 
Yeah, I just wish you could do like a tiny bit of melee damage yeah. as a defender during that. Because <laughs> holy crud, the hit registration just frustrates me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I keep getting killed by an attacker that's like five feet away from me. <laughs> it's just tough to deal with. But I've gotten some, I got a, a nice clip of myself like just disappearing and managing to hide pretty well and fool a defender or attacker. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Always hiding. You, especially it's funny to find like the super common places that everybody hides in, but then someone just manages to make it worse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and now that they, uh, they add like different operators every year to spice up the event more, like they've added Nook. And she's interesting because she, she turns invisible. She in already mode. is a ghost. <laughs> so she gets the defender's power. She's and that's pretty nice for denying that uh, bathroom stack strategy. Because mm -hmm. as soon as they start going out the window, you've just got Nook invisibly <laughs> ready to go. Just always sitting there at waiting. The bottom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't <laughs> been able, I haven't been able to play the new, the with the new operators, but I'm very excited to see how that's gonna change any of the games. But honestly, those games are just for fun. Those are just like the. Yeah. You want to just troll a little bit, have a little bit of fun. It's like ca it's a themed casual. <laughs> That's what I love to see. I love themes. <laughs> <clears throat> I really like the. What was it? Uh, Rainbow's Magic. That's always a classic we to love return to. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Rainbow's Magic is the strangest time, but the I would say the funniest time for Siege. Yeah, it's a nice chance to just be Mimi for once. Exactly. And stop trying so hard and being mad at ranked. Until everybody gets mad about the event. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> truly something... Especially those game modes. Yeah, you can <laughs> truly <laughs> never escape that. Yeah, even in the most casual events, you've always got some crazy cheese strat coming up <laughs> or just weird quirk of the match format. Mm-hmm. And something. It's always a little something. Always something. <clears throat> but Doctor's Curse is always going to have a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah. Got any favorite skins you're hoping to get in Doctor's Curse? I really, I did actually really like the Ayana skin. Her, her like, space with, like, the, like, bugs coming out of her face. I thought I was like, that's always sick. Oh, yeah, that's so freaky. But... I will say Jaeger's Rattle Me Bones will forever have a place in my heart. That is a good you one. You can never go wrong with that. <clears throat> yeah. I really like the lesion with the helmet and full of like toxic liquid, I yeah. think it was. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah. I, I'm surprised they haven't added, um, who is it, uh, like thermite just on fire <laughs> consistently. <laughs> That would be pretty sick. Even his elite <laughs> lets him do fire powers. Yeah, I'm he like, should have a fiery theme. He exactly. Like, make him into a flame elemental for Halloween. Just like have a f like flaming skull. Like uh, oh, there's the name that's in my head, but I don't remember what it is. Make him into Zuko from Avatar. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I feel like there's a few that I'm like I like knock. I was always surprised was like is just getting into this. She is literally a ghost. She's yeah. already played as a ghost. So I'm like, how already are we? All right. Looks like we are coming into Night Haven now, folks. Can't wait to see this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Bands. Wisconsin's right. banning first. Any bands that we're kind of expecting? I would say, again, I'm so, I will be shocked if Doki be last through the band phase. Yeah, she's been coming up pretty often. I, I bet she'll be banned here. <clears throat> Let's see. Here we go. Lion. Lion, okay. All right. I was also expecting something to happen with Lion. Either he gets played all the time or he gets banned outright. Absolutely. UNM's coming in with their next ban. Thatcher. Thatcher. Makes sense. Yeah, Gonna but... Force the bandit trick. True. But again, everybody has... People already have EMPs. I know, but... Just the radius on those Thatchers makes him so useful. You, like, you don't e even need him specifically for walls. Mm -hmm. If there's a lot of defender oh. utility you need to get rid of, that's a very helpful. And getting rid of the Fenrir, too. Poor Liston. That's right. Both teams <laughs> have had enough of Fenrir. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be dealing with that anymore. Final defender getting banned is Mira. Understandable. 
Mira's got some serious advantages if she can get good placements. All right, coming into round one. Let's see what the operators are going to be. UNM is attacking this time uh, first, to be sure. <clears throat> All right. First up, Wisconsin's going with Solus, Azami, Kaid, Alibi, and Mute. UNM's bringing Dokubi, Maverick, Ace, Buck, and Ash. A very interesting combination of new and old Attackers from both sides. Yes. I know Azami's great for site setup. She's going to be able to create the angles that defenders want to be playing off of. And Solus, she's going to be great for dealing with the drones. Again, Nighthaven Labs is so massive. There's so many hiding spots for drones and people to be. <clears throat> it's going to be very nice to have a Solus just drone clearing. Always watching. Looks like UNM is down to six drones. Solus is getting some serious work done. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we don't sack any more drones. <laughs> uh, but the Doka B is still up, so that should make roam clearing a little bit easier for UNM. And here we go. The horses are off to the races. <laughs> and all right, I like the Flores pick here. It'll be good to get rid of those Azami barricades. The uh, Kibas, that's what they're called. <laughs> Especially with no... No drone denial on the other side. True. Besides, well, of course, besides our Solus. But, oh no, they got a mute. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> but, um. But again. Okay. Going for main wall, of course. Wombat coming up with Maverick. I'm surprised to, I've only just seen him play Maverick, but. I know. I suppose Cafe isn't quite conducive He's to Maverick. He's a changed man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kai's coming up with that peak on the line. And he's going to get wall open with the Flores. Really looking for oh. that Kaid. See if they can get the wall open. Ooh. But Alibi already taken a oh good man. amount of damage. Ooh, right. and Kai. Buster's taken, taken down. Kai is out. Monkey Monies is gone. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. That was a very quick exchange there. Oh, wow. yeah. All right, so we got main wall open. We're contending with some Kiba barriers. That's a very strong hold there. Good job by that Azami. Mm -hmm. But still. Ooh. Oh, you don't want to be peeking out for <laughs> too long, Wombat. <laughs> unfortunate. Especially since they, can't still get, they still really can't get in. Still kaied it off. Yeah, maybe if we could get a drone there, just stress out that Solus mm -hmm. hiding back there. Mm -hmm. Or... Maybe they'll just commit somewhere else. Still got a minute and ten seconds, but that's not time you want to be wasting just being having a staring contest. But we still got that even line. Ooh. Oh, man. Nice shot by Trix. Double kill now. Really good angle. Oh, don't let it just right. be a matter of timing, Callies. Yeah, you know it's there. Sway, has, Sway does Yikes. have his... Nitro, his uh... All right. 1v2. This is still winnable. Sway's got some pretty good aim, but that Solus is hard on the roam. Mm -hmm. She's looking to just detect him. Oh, man. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Both but low. Callie's is good here, too. Oh. Ooh. All right. All good right. job. UNM had that the numbers. Didn't have much, much of the health, but definitely had the numbers. Yeah. Just having an extra person to get the trade or just have a crossfire set up mm -hmm. is so good here. But dang, that was that was a bit tough mm -hmm. for both sides, actually. We'll see how they cope. <laughs> I like the Ash pick. If they bring a zombie again, it'll be decent to be taking out an Azami or two. And coming back in with a Nomad, knowing that Roamer, that Solus. Yeah, Solus is walking everywhere right now. <laughs> I don't know if they caught her on a drone or just managed to figure it out. But she is roaming hard. We do have the Wamai and okay, we still have a mute. Looks like Wisconsin's pretty confident in their lineup. We're still bringing the same ops. Mm -hmm. Unum is also very confident here. Having their little 
retry, okay. seeing if some, they can have some changes made. Yeah, well, Mai's getting ready, just defending that Kiba barrier. That was hugely powerful, just not being able to enter that server room. And having to switch from a Kai <coughs> to a Bandit. Might get some Bandit tricking today. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see him get those wall denials off. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Kali's coming up from the northeast, it looks like. We are still going for main wall. Oh my, taking some hits already. Yeah, ju even just having it open, you don't necessarily have to have that be your main entrance. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know it's such a perilous entrance. White. Oh man. Bandit's holding a strong angle from back in that room. Oh man, Ooh. Zombie's taking a bit of damage, contending over there. With two two on that Azami, it's gonna be an interesting battle for her. Figure out. Oh man, Wombat's managed to damage Azami, but he's just getting forced out. Can't get a good shot off. I don't see anyone using drones at the moment, or looks like we're just kind of getting caught up on these angles, just hoping to get a pick out. Bomb located by attackers. All right, UNM's droning a bit. Hopefully they can get someone to follow behind it and just play off of that intel. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Wait. got a pick. Good shot. Amazing shot by Wombat. The tiniest of angles do the most. Dang, Wisconsin's oh taking so... Ah. All right, back to the Solus. The Solus coming in. 1v5. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Solus has really got to put in the work. Yeah, Sway's getting that plant down. Good man. Cherry planting the bomb. Oh! Ah, Tricks managed to get the headshot, but did get just a, too many. Did get a kill on one of ours, but still a very good try. Wow, and I think all of this snowballed off of that Azami pick. Mm -hmm. Dang. You had him really taking a lot of the advantages here in Nighthaven. Mm-hmm. As much as I don't see them play it, I do think they are fairly comfortable on it. Oh yes, and it shows. It's definitely pay it is definitely paying off. Yeah, they managed to come back from that really tough first round and have a very very nice second round. And Wisconsin is still going for that second floor sight hold. They're really determined to get it. Yeah, now we're seeing a pulse being brought along. UNM is. Still going for the Dokabi and Ash. Mm -hmm. We did see a switch to Ram, though. I wonder what Callie's is planning to do there. Hmm. Maybe he's going for just to catch a stray, a zombie barricade, or tear open a few of those soft walls. And switches from our from our Doke and uh, Jackal. Okay. A lot of switches on UNM decisions. side. Kind of refiguring out the reworking the plan. Yeah. All right. So dropped the ram for that Dokabi. And uh, I hope someone managed to drone out that pulse, but dang, Solus is making intel really hard to get right now. Let's see. She's still roaming warehouse. Going for that main wall breach again. We're seeing very little variation here. We both teams have a plan that they know works. Mm -hmm. They just have to make it the small details go well. Oh yes, but that pulse might be coming in handy. Yeah, I do like the pulse here, especially there are a few uh, soft areas that he can nitro from beneath, mm -hmm. or at the very least get some intel for his team. And with some claymores down, at least preventing some runouts. That's definitely going to help out. All right, Kaizen almost blew himself <laughs> up like, there. Yeah, interesting place to sit for the <laughs> for the Flores, but you know, the risk is worth the reward. This time we got Ooh. Liston squaring off against Trix here. That's Solus. But she's not even challenging it. She doesn't have to. Oh, and we got the Wamai downed. Dang, yeah. Wamai and our and our Maverick. All right, Solus is shooting a little bit. 
But again, her mere presence is just a huge, huge de detriment in that specific area. She's got some serious control there. Mm -hmm. All right, Ace is getting that oh. mute. Good shot there. Good shot, Callies. And Warden still watching across that soft wall head holes. Looking for as many heartbeats as you can. I think Pulse is really going to start wanting to come back to sight. Oh, oh. dang. He manages to get a down off. We'll have to see if he can finish it off. Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows. All right. Oh, he gets one. the kill. It's not the down person, yeah, but still. Still one over none, but. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. Interesting if he'll be able to find them once again. I think he's probably going to be sticking underground mm -hmm. after that. <clears throat> Okay, UNM's got that soft wall opened or coming in. If Pulse sees anyone standing still, they're going to be in for a bad time. Oh, yes. UNM has the diffuser, but the, they're going to have to plant. But they got the dope back up, so at least it's one more person for their side. Oh, wait, Sway manages to plant. Solus is out. Solus is out. All right, Exa, Can let's see UNM what you do. All right, to 2v1, Sway oh, coming. Man. Got to make the clutch. Diffuser is planted. You have the advantage. I don't know. You don't want to be risking right. gunfights too hard here. But he's confident. The 1v1. Triple kill. All right. Oh, my God. Wow. Very pretty quad feed by Sway wow. there. Holy crud. Sway Woo. coming in with that clutch. Oh, my. Wow. That. I My heart was racing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. After that play, uh, I think you probably want to switch sites at this point. Yeah, probably a good idea. This is not working. And All right. switching to the basement site, perfect. I expect we're going to be seeing RAM here. I There was a lot of heart, uh, soft floors. Mm -hmm. um, but UNM will have to drone them out to do that. <clears throat> but they got the Twitch on their side, so at least if, for Util's sake, they can at least get a good amount of it out of the way. Or have a, ch have a better chance at it. Finally seen a Tachanka pick. Oh, we love, love to, see to see it. A good, a good little Tachanka time. Oh, dang. I the really want to get that skin. The hot pink gun skin, of course. Absolutely. Again, back to our favorite. Oh, yeah. Rainbow's magic. Rainbow's magic. <laughs> All right. Monkey's bringing out the castle pick here. I like that. UNM's going to have to contend with some major time wasting by that. Mm-hmm. But they are bringing decent soft breach. We've got the Ash and the Ram. Well, the full team, the full team switch. Oh, yeah. They know what lineup they want for each oh, side. Yeah. And this was, this was the one they had to swap it out. Mm -hmm. Jackal's going to be fun here. Especially if that Solus keeps trying to roam. Mm -hmm. There's going to be feet footprints everywhere. <laughs> Castling off. Let's seeing if they're barricading themselves to the <laughs> to the site. Still got a lot of roamers going around for our. That's true. Our defender side. The Solus and Alibi are being very much out there, and and a castle. Wonder, I didn't see that. Yeah, wondering if maybe this will be their learning lesson of not a, the light roam does help. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we've seen this many roamers by either team yet. Mm -hmm. At least not at once. Going to have to support each other and keep moving. Interesting, lo looking like the Mavericks by himself. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I mean, Mavericks by himself. Oh, he was carrying Diffuser and he had to get rid of it. Uh, Smart move. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to get Nitro there. Ew. And, ooh, the Kaid is gone on the main wall. That'll definitely play to the advantage of UNM. Yes, but they do, they've really committed on the Maverick. There is no hard breach whatsoever. Mm -mm. All right, Sway getting the double <coughs> already. See, we're going in for a yeah, third. Yeah, clearing's working. Mm -hmm. Dang, and it was a Solus too. Her Kai intel is so good. Kaizen caught outside from the Tachanka. Yeah, I think Wisconsin's best bet is to really rely on that area denial by Tachanka and just not take 1v1s. 
sways Sway out by down, Nexa. But still has the numbers advantage. Not anymore. <laughs> now back to even. Right, Piab's Tachanka's out. He's getting some good kill. That's good. Mm -hmm. He's still got 17 fireballs. Ooh. Oh, but he's not going to get him. Use them. 2v2. Really Exa even. Exa and Monkey versus Wombat and Callies. Mm -hmm. Again, both both even teams, but unfortunate. Well, fortunately for them, Wisconsin has the health advantage. Wombat still has drone. Uh, does he have both? I, I think he has both. And they have both. Let's see if he makes use. They got their flashes and their smokes. See if they can put those to use. True, but there's still plenty of util, and defenders do not bring nade denial. Down to a Our one. Exa. No one. X one. All right, let's see. He's got that Real shotgun. Town. Good Hold. shot. All right, Does Wombat, he hear Wombat planting? Wombat going for the plant. Oh, he's faking him. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whew. What? Dang, Amazing. that was so crazy. Amazing fake. You can see the Nitro going past his head as he goes, as he says, nah, That's pushes so through good. and gets that kill. Oh, my Yeah, just run goodness. past the Nitro. I'm so glad that Nitro didn't bounce off him because I think it would have killed him if it did. Oh, man. That was wild. Looks like we're having some issues with ping. Ah, uh, darn. Looking Looks like it's going to be a rehost. All right. Well, when we wow. return, they're going to be resuming at round five. And this is this is a very crazy game. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, UNM's getting quite the comeback here. God. <clears throat> Wombat running through that nitro said, no, thank you, and kept going. Yeah, oh even with the delay to shooting, that sprinting causes mm -hmm. just that nitro was too much of a threat. Wow. Oh <clears> my <throat> goodness. Just some crazy games. It's definitely still very like very evenly matched, but Yeah, UNM just that split second just changes everything. Mhm. Mm UM wow. just getting their picks faster. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh my goodness. Even with the Solus <laughs> destroying their drones. Seriously. I, I think UNM really knows this map. That Solus really mm -hmm. coming coming in as that last their last resort. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to be switching off of her now. Mm -hmm. We know that UNM's getting really good gunfights here. They're getting, even without intel, they're managing to pick off the 1v1s and win those gunfights. I feel like maybe Wisconsin should be looking for more trap operators. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Any way, anyways of slowing them down. I mean, they lost the front... Fenrir, which really helped for both sides last game, but... Yes, there's no Fenrir to deal with. Mm -hmm. I did like the castle pick, but unfortunately, there's just so many entrances to site, and you've only got four castle barricades. Yeah, really got to pick and choose what's mm -hmm. going to be your most important. Also interesting seeing the switches from Bandit and Kaid. Yes, that too. I know Kaid's good for those hatches, mm -hmm. and Bandit, he get, lets you get more walls that are like separated from he each other. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like even both of them being played at one point because yeah. there are a lot of walls to get and some hatches to deal with as well. On a site like this, definitely needing as much of that support as you can. Yeah. But then again, that Maverick play by Wombat is really strong. <laughs> it's hard to deal with that mm -hmm. when you're just wall denial. <clears throat> yeah. If you can get a nitro to get through one of those lines that Maverick makes, mm -hmm. if you're like good enough to aim that nitro, <laughs> then that's pretty good. That's the key word there. That's so difficult. It's always like, can is the can you actually do it? <laughs> but waiting on this rehost. But I'm still again. It's still looking. It's like getting close. Wisconsin mm -hmm. definitely has chances to bring it back from our from UNM. Yes, each time it's been getting pretty close. UNM is coming out with a strong advantage. They're getting those picks. But I know Wisconsin has been able to pull it off a few times. <clears throat> well, until next. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to be taking a short break, waiting for them to get that rehost down. Thank you so much, folks. We'll be right back. <clears throat>
All right, welcome back. Time to see after some minor confusions. Yes, we've got that rehost, and we're coming back in round five. We never got around to picking operators, so let's see what they go with. <laughs> see if we get any changes. <clears throat> Again, we've had same thing with before with the cafe, seeing if maybe this will be a shift for both teams, either for UNM to just really come through and pull it in the last three next three rounds or mm -hmm. or Wisconsin really gonna getting... come in for that clutch <laughs> yeah Wisconsin's got a lot of ground to make up here if mm -hmm. they want to bring it to the tiebreaker they're going for basement again I, I don't know they've been doing a lot better second floor I think but they've only played one basement round so far so we'll have to see how it just changes things mm -hmm. no longer bringing the castle we have a vigil and looks like we're still bringing the rest of the lineup mm -hmm. Solus has to listen. That Solus has got to stay. Yeah, she's been getting so much util. Mhm. Mm oh man. Okay, coming up for attackers. A good amount of switches on the I'm UNM waiting. side. Switching, yes. Going for the Doke Doke player switch Five to Ram and Jackal. Lots of intel this time. Yeah, they definitely want to be prioritizing that Solus. She's just constantly giving people information, uh, giving her defenders information mm. about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Once again, Wombat has Diffuser. Hopefully he notices like he did last time. Yeah. <clears throat> That's very odd. I, I wonder how they program the priority. Th there are no hard breaches, so I guess it makes sense. Actually, Still has I do think Maverick is considered hard breach. Yes. <clears throat> so that's why he has it. <laughs> But, uh, looking, really looking for that. Ooh. Wow. What Wombat a peek. already on the first kill. Poor Alibi. Oh, man. I want to see Ooh. the replay, how he got that angle. See if we can get some. Come on, Piab. Ooh. Wombat Took hit out pretty half hard. But now that's just more intel for. Yeah, they they Attackers he accomplished his goal. The mm -hmm. They're going to get that wall open. Oh, yeah. Vigil's on the roam. Very slowly, he's crouched, coming up towards Callie's. I don't think Callie's has him droned out. Be good. To s interesting to oh. see who finds who first. Look in the wrong direction, but yes. Oh. oh, just when he decides to leave, he's taken out. Just an unfortunate bit of angles and timing. All right, going for another wall opening. Yep, we're getting that second wall. Mm -hmm. That's good. There, we are down to two defenders, X1 and Piab. Probably not pronouncing that right, <laughs> but uh. And already oh, down to the one v five. Oh my! Kai is getting the plant down. This mute has really got to carry some weight. Man, this is a really tough situation for him. All right, already got one. Oh, Ooh, caught okay. in the crossfire of two. Dang, and the CZ too. Mm -hmm. I get it. Its fire rate is nice, <laughs> but holy crap, I don't like its sights. No. All right. <clears throat> oh, five. All right. Probably going to be picking second floor, it looks like. Mm -hmm. This time they're bringing the same same setup as last time. We got that Azami. Got that Goyo Ooh, now. Oh, okay. I like that. A Goyo, good way to kind of keep people out, but also catch somebody on fire for fun. Need to yeah. <laughs> I think UNM is still expecting a probably first floor or basement push. Mm -hmm. But this is still a good lineup for a second floor. Oh, we are bringing the zero. Ooh, All right, the, looks like they're to playing the Flores. The All right. Oh, okay. And the Twitch. They really. Hey, they know what works on what sites, I guess. Yeah. Oh. If, I mean, if they can, if they're confident about getting that Solos, they could bring some more intel. Mm -hmm. But so far, they haven't needed it. I do like the Goyo placements. We're getting those canisters placed where UNM likes to go and where we like to breach. Oh, but no, but no, um, no wall denial oh, really. Besides, yeah, no wall denial this time from uh, the uh, UW side. That's true. The Maverick is kind of making it ineffective. Mm -hmm. So why bother? True. But <clears> they still <throat> they still got intel to kind of have their get their advantages. 
Yeah, if there was a good opportunity for a run out or just some kind of pick on the Maverick, mm -hmm. then it could still be worth. But yeah. the way things are right now, Maverick is getting that wall whether Ooh. they want it or not. And Wamai already down for the count. Yeah, this is getting some good shots in there. Zombie going for that similar angle, but coming from a closer side. Curious to see what the Solus is thinking. Mm -hmm. but a Vulcan already um, denied. Yeah, they're, both teams are really just trying to get a decent pick off an angle, get a lucky shot in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's hard to say what's going to happen yet. Mm -hmm. This Goyo's denying areas, but Listen's going to come in and try to take out some extra Goyo traps. Looks like those Goyos are getting pretty are getting cleared out pretty early, which at least leaves the later the later half of this round to be open. Mhm. Mm Callie's is downed, but Wisconsin is down to three. Zombie going for that peak, seeing if it'll pay off. Still got the Azami here. She's kind of locked out from sight at the moment. Mm. Wombat's, this is now going in Wombat's favor. Ooh, oh man, both but he's so low. Both major hits. Two Highs. v three, it could still go either way. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sway took a bit of fire damage. Wombat's really holding off. Yeah, at this point, you can almost ignore the Azami mm -hmm. if, if she can't make it back to sight safely. Mm -hmm. That Solus, though, will for just can be a consistent problem. Yeah. We'll have to see what they do. Still in command center, but uh, Sway is planting. Holy crud. Oh my. I can't believe that person Oh, my survived. God. Just a really uh, fast ending there. Oh, my. Wow. SMG Wombat. moment. Wombat really holding out with his, like, very, very minimal health. Yeah, oh, I, my goodness. I don't know who Sola shot there. I didn't see the name, but <laughs> just surviving <laughs> that. What? Just lasting. Oh, and we're already on match point. Yeah, just got filled with lead, but <laughs> she just ate it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Holy crap. Had a, little, had a little lead snack. All right, UNM is now defending. Let's see if Wisconsin can take it back. Mm -hmm. This is a very difficult one. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have the chance to know how UNM likes to defend here. They have to win this one mm -hmm. or it's over. Exactly. <clears throat> So UNM's bringing the Solos as well. They're bringing Wamai, Kaid, Smoke, and Warden. Warden? Warden's an interesting pick. I, His 1.5 times is just so good. Yeah. But I mean, from what he like, from what he was before to now, like, just yes. again, seeing him played so much is so odd. But, I mean, listen, if it works, it works. Yeah, as long as you're just willing to deal with having three armor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the 1.5, I guess, still justifies three armor, it for them. Three armor, but wearing the suit. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So it looks like Wisconsin has decided on tricks. Or, sorry, Iana, <laughs> Dokubi, uh, Ace, and Ash, and finally, Finca. A good amount of intel for bo for their side, and, and the hard breach is definitely going to come in use. Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't see any smoke grenades. Looks trick. like they drowned out that warden and mm -hmm. don't want to take chances with it. Mm-hmm. Got a lot they of are going for hard breach. Mm -hmm. But no, no real good way of clearing out those uh, the Kai charges. True. I'm surprised they didn't bring a Maverick, but maybe none of them are quite comfortable on it. Maybe not. <coughs> All right, Listen's here trying to. Looks like he's trying to prevent people from getting underneath the Kai charge. Mm -hmm. Sway's got a decent angle. Kai is holding that command room. And Wombat's in the warehouse area. Trying to see if they can open up some floor. See if they can find either that Kai charge or somebody else. Somebody's feet's walking around. Yeah, we're Kai's down to minute 48. Still haven't seen any damage taken by either side. Bit of a scary angle from, from uh, Cal here. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. If it's not droned out, it's, someone's going to die. Oh, yeah. Wombat gets a kill on Busters. But he has a friend. Is he going to take try to trade him? I don't think so. Let's see if anybody tries going Probably through. Probably want to drone him. This window's a risky play, especially knowing if, if they know that somebody is, in fact, watching, which doesn't look like they do. 
Right. Cal is his, if he's still watching Ooh. that. Oh, man. Doe could be taking major hits. And, yeah, lost, and lost the Ayana. <laughs> Dang, Ace is out. A, fi two, a 5v2. It's just Finca trying to deal with Wombat in Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he gets Ooh. lit up. All right. But is it enough? Okay. <laughs> decent, decent Nitro, I guess, but... Yeah, he's got that strong know. arm, but holy <laughs> crud. I would have been so sad if it ended like that. <laughs> Just the blind toss. Mm -hmm. This one's on the prowl for anyone using a drone. Mm -hmm. However, there are no more drones for attackers. And only one more finger uh, boost from from UW to hold them over. They've just got one drone, but neither operator can pilot it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> looking for any sort of angles. But again, looking at the same angle, which is... We're down to 10 seconds, and they're still not even on the same forest site. Mm -hmm. They're going to get denied oh. hard. Whoa. Wow. All right. <clears throat> oh, my God. Dang, tough luck for Wisconsin. That was a really tough position to Un be in. They just couldn't deal with all that smoke gas and the barbed wire. Good job by UNM. And a good two games played. Congratulations to UNM Cherry for the win. Yes, that was a crazy fight. I didn't know how it was going to go based on those starting cafe rounds, but UNM <laughs> was getting a lot more comfortable with cafe mm -hmm. and Night Haven. Yeah, newer maps, the sooner you can get comfortable with them and get some good strats in, definitely is going to play your advantage in these kinds of situations. But mm -hmm. definitely was a bit of a nail-biter. at a Definitely all the rounds, there was, like, there was always something going on. True. <clears throat> well, that's been UNM versus Wisconsin. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <clears throat>